Hi, I'm Lynn Langett, and this is going to be a five minute video showing an introduction to SQL Server 2012 Master Data Services. This is based on Release Candidate Zero um, with an emphasis on the integration with Excel. So, if you had a chance to look at the Master Data Services web interface, you're familiar with the Explorer and the administration, integration, so on and so forth. So just to give you a sense of what's here, I'm going to click on the Explorer and show you an existing model that I made for this demo. And you can see that we have, you know, the entities, hierarchies, collections, and the Explorer. And inside of here, I just made a quick uh, set of entities um, around letters, just for the purposes of demo. So if you're unfamiliar with Master Data Services, what it is, it's a new set of services released in 2012 that's designed to be a central repository for um, uh, data that is uh, definitive for the organization. So uh, just a real simple example here that I have a set of entities. What I want to show in this video though is not this interface, rather I want to show the integration with Excel. So the way that that works is you download and install this uh, you know, add-in which appears as a toolbar inside of Excel. It's important that you get the correct uh, edition and version. So if you're using RC0, you need that, as well as whether you have the 32-bit or the 64-bit version of Excel. So the first thing that you need to do after you have MDS installed on a server, and this of course can be uh, on a different server than where you have Excel, but I have it all in the same thing for the purposes of demo, is you want to make a connection. So to do that, you just click New under the Connections, and then you fill in the MDS server address. If you've assigned it something other than the default port, remember to put the port number there. I've already done this for the purposes of this demo, and you can see that I have assigned something other than the, the default port. So I'm going to go ahead and test my connection, and you should get a connection succeeded. Now, um, with the RC0 bits, there is quite a bit of information on the forums about the installation, and to summarize it, with this uh, uh, release, not the final release, the product team has said that you must install on a, a domained join machine. I had quite some trouble trying to uh, get this installation to work on a non-domain join machine, and I, I really never did get the Excel side to work. So just save yourself some time. If you want to test it out in RC0, um, you have to use a domain join machine. The team has said that for the final bits, that won't be the case. So inside of here, once you connect, as we've done, you can see we are connected, and um, we have the Master Data Explorer. And over on the right, we have the metadata, which ships with the product. Then we have the test model, which I had already created. So the test model has um, two hierarchies inside of it. It has the test hierarchy and the title hierarchy, and it also has versions. Of course, that's one um, significant feature of the product, that you can version the data. Now, if I wanted to uh, create a new entity, I would just say Create Entity. And then I would select it from my uh, workbook. So I would need to have a range, specify whether the data has headers. I would need to associate it with the model, associate it with a version, give the entity a name, select the unique identifier, and the column name. So I'm just going to go ahead and create something new, and I'm going to call this uh, Cities. And I'm going to say uh, ID, and then I'll say uh, LA. And I'll say 1, and I'll say uh, New York, and I'll say 2, just to give something for a demonstration here. And then I'll say create the entity, and we're going to associate it with the test, and we're going to call it cities, and then we're going to say the unique identifier is under ID, and then the city is under city, and say OK. And this is a simple way for people who are domain experts um, but who are not comfortable or who you don't really want to work with the web interface to uh, add uh, data. And you can see now it's adding it in, and it shows up inside of both Excel and the MDS interface. You can also uh, apply filters, you can apply rules, you can combine other data, and when you're done, you simply click Publish, and then that makes this part of the data that's available for your MDS model. So it's a really simple interface. Like I said, the tricky thing in the beta version here is getting it to install. So this is MDS integration in Excel, and I'm Lynn Langett. More at www.lynnlangett.com.